Yo. You, you, you are now listening to the smoking section. Oh, yeah. Or oh, you'll find hot topics. And fire conversations. Hey, keep it locked. You hear me? Well, hello, wonderful people. How are you doing? This is your host, Big Corpse, and this is the smoking section, your favorite podcast with the hottest topics and fire conversation. Yeah, brought to you exclusively by CorpseCollection.com. If you guys haven't already, go by, check it out, get you something today. So today, I want to talk about a few things. First and foremost, I want to take a moment to recognize that today as I'm recording, it is Martin Luther King Day. A man such as him needs to be remembered and celebrated every day. One man changed the lives of so many people. I mean, history books have whole chapters dedicated to his work. And um, in his continuing, in his continuing memory, I want to say that the fight has not stopped. We are still working to this very day in 2023 to bring the best life to every person, no matter what, no matter their race, color, or creed. Everyone deserves a life that they can enjoy, pursue happiness, and above all, live in tranquility. Today, I want to talk about a few things because it's been getting a little hectic. Yeah, it's been getting, it's been getting a little hectic out there. Um, first and foremost, I just got done watching the Tampa Bay Buccaneers get fucking smashed on by the Dallas Cowboys. Um, potentially Tom Brady's last football game as a professional NFL football player. And I've watched this guy play ball growing up my whole life. I mean, him between him and Kobe Bryant, right, were like, cha- they were the champions. They were champions. They were what little boys, you know, aspire to be. Whether you played football or basketball, these two guys just oozed, just oozed dedication, hard work, triumph. Yeah. And just above all, like the cool headedness of what it takes, you know, during these times of, of pressure. Um, but today he, I mean, today they got smashed on. He did not play good. Um, he had like a, he had a few turnovers, um, and, and the Dallas Cowboys just completely controlled the game. Um, I don't want to take away anything from like Dak Prescott and that Dallas defense. Um, they really, really pay, played an amazing game, an amazing game. Um, so there's that. There's the first thing though. Um, another thing is is Twitter. Um, I really, I really like Twitter as a platform. Always have, I've always enjoyed it. Um, especially back in the day, like 2010, 2011 status. Um, it was fucking wild on Twitter, like wild. People were saying the craziest shit. Twitter was literally a like Xbox chat room. Like the shit that would be said would be ridiculous. And we used to have so much fun. Um, but then later on, like 2016, 17, 18 status, um, it got really sensitive on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people started getting banned or... Um, I hate using the word deplatformed, but a lot of people started getting deplatformed because of the stuff they would say. Um, currently now in the U.S., uh, we're going through a lot of different issues, you know, politically. Um, there is, there's a lot of turmoil as far as President Biden and Congress and a lot of people just like, I don't know. There, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't like getting too political on, on the podcast. But um, but there's a lot of stuff in the in the political realm going on. Um, it's actually been proven now that like some of our higher ups in our government. Hold on, I'm gonna hit this vape real quick. That a lot of people in our in our politics, um, you know, actively try to suppress certain messaging or try to suppress certain you know uh, certain people from having a voice on these platforms, which is cool. Like. There's always the argument of, well, it's a um, it's an app, and they it's a privately owned company, and they can choose to do, 
you know, with the people who participate as they want. Um, which, in the argument of in the argument of fairness, right? Um, if you're going to suppress certain people's ideologies, right? No matter what the reason is, religious, political, or personal. Um, I just think as a company, you should make that statement, you know, forthright. Um, maybe put in the terms and agreements. Maybe just put that, you know, in, on the sign up, on the sign up page. Like, hey, signing up for this. Just know that we're not going to support certain views, um, certain political leanings or whatever. Right. Because right now it's getting super hectic and Twitter is taking a mad twist. Um, the mad scientist himself, Elon Musk, um, has implemented a lot of changes in Twitter. He's implemented a lot of changes, and and shit is hectic on Twitter right now. So if you guys like to comment and engage, you know, via text form, right, where people really like engaging, you know, either through videos or pictures, if you enjoy writing out what you like to say or what you're thinking, uh, Twitter's a really good space for that right now. It's very hectic. Um, I think in the disarray that's happening on the platform, I think there's a a huge, huge area of capitalization there, right? If you're somebody who's a content creator or somebody who's wanting to be some kind of um, voice, yeah, in the media. Um, so take some time, right? I say all that to say this is that <laughs> recently, very, very recently, I started getting paid through social media. Yeah, I started getting paid for some of my posts on Instagram, um, and it's been, it's been interesting to learn like the method, method, methodology behind it, like the ways to post, when to post, how to post. Um, so anybody who's trying to capitalize on social media, right. And who want to make an extra income or even start a career as some kind of influencer or, you know, social media pundit, <laughs> uh, to, now, now is, now is a good time. Yeah, now's a good time. It's, you know, we we got so used to the whole influencer, influencer term. But I think now, nowadays, we are really starting to grasp what that term means. Um, people, people were thinking that they were influencers because they have 10,000 followers, 11,000 followers, blah, 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 blah. But a true influencer is somebody who can move the tides. Yeah, so if you ask me, somebody who is an influencer is somebody who can create a real call to action. Um, I think we saw, I think we've saw some of the biggest influencers movements from people like President, um, former President Trump, people like Elon Musk, Kanye West, um, these huge, huge icons. You know, they say certain things and it just creates mass disruption, disruption in the media. Uh, some people, you know, even like Tom Brady or or the Kardashians, you know, they make a post about a crypto or they make a post about this makeup or whatever. And it causes these businesses to blow up. It causes people to change their shopping habits or whatever. Yeah. Um, so if you guys can, if you guys want to support your boy, yeah, go through to my Instagram again at corpse, K-O-R-P-S-X. And uh, go check that out. Go check out some of my reels. Give them a play, man. Um, let me know what y'all think. Um, again, I'm I'm starting to make money off of them. Um, so even if you guys would want me to share some of your reels or share some of your content onto my profile, just let me know, and and we can get that done. Um, I love spreading. I love spreading the love, um, especially for the community that's been supporting me and who's been showing love to me. I love to return that. Um, yeah. So it's. <laughs> So this little trip to Key West has been fun. It's been crazy. Been able to watch football. You know, the Jag- uh, Jacksonville Jaguars had an amazing comeback against the against the Chargers. Um, and again, you know, this just blowout of a game from the Cowboys uh, against Tampa Bay. Uh, Bengals beat uh, the Bengals beat Baltimore, um, which was I mean that one came down to the wire. The Bills had a fucking amazing. I mean, just amazing game, too. Uh, I think they barely escaped. I think it was like 34-31. Um, there's just been some great games, some just really, really tough, hard-fought games. And um, I'm hoping that it continues. Yeah, it's been a wild season for the NFL, too. Um, and I know everyone's just waiting for the Rihanna Bowl <laughs> to see her perform and come back and uh, give a musical performance for the first time in years. 
Um, yeah, what else is new? Like, let's just think, you know, being here, being here in Key West, I've been looking up new ways, you know, to be able to spread information to you all. Um, the podcast has really been a, has really been a fun way for me to do it. Um, and right now I'm just like, you know, right now I'm doing the whole rant solo ones, but I'm going to be bringing some more guests in, um, talk about some more shit and hopefully give you guys some better content and give you guys some better stuff to listen to. Um, you know, right now being on the road, it's, it's hard to try to get a guest in and, you know, I just want to enjoy time with road, you know, <laughs> I hate saying her name cause I don't want you guys looking her up. I want to just spend some time with my girlfriend. You know, I, I want to spend some time with my girlfriend and enjoy her company. You know, being in, the, in a long distance relationship is tough enough as it is. So when we're together, I love to just try to just give her that time, give her my undivided attention. Yeah. And of course, there's times when we're sitting around watching a movie or, you know, just cuddling and stuff. We'll whip the phones out and just kind of skip like skim through social media. And that's fine because that's like our like that's just us relaxing, you know. Um, but I try not to be all over my phone. Um, I took a lot of pictures of her, got some videos of her, um, and some memories to take home with me. Uh, but I, uh, I really try to make sure to be present in the moment. Um, literally, <laughs> I think it's so crazy because I, I have uh, I have the TV on as I'm watching these highlights from the football game, and I mean. Man, I just wish y'all could have watched this game. If y'all did watch the game, comment comment below. Uh, there should be like a poll or something on here. Um, if not, hit me up on Instagram too, at Corpse. Y'all know the deal. Um, let's talk about it. Yeah. Um, one thing I do want, I want to reach out to my community. Yeah. And have you guys like, man, y'all y'all hit me up on Instagram. Um, I do I do get messages from time to time, but I want to reach out more and, and see if I can contact and just, you know, socialize with you guys some more. Um, hit me up on my page, my page, at Corpse, that's K-O-R-P-S-X. Message me if you guys watch the games or message me if you guys notice like the craziness going on on Twitter. Um, and so we can discuss it and maybe even bring you on to the show. Yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, real quick take, uh, I leave for California tomorrow. Um, flight leaves at 5.55 p.m. Uh, I should be getting back into Cali around midnight. Um, hopefully drop another episode on the drive home. Um, but until then, again, hit me up on Instagram. That's at Corpse, K-O-R-P-S-X. Um, check out CorpseCollection.com. We got new items up, you know, and same great prices, great deals, everything there for you. We even have a new feature where uh, you can do payments for your purchases, Um and it's not limited to any amount. So if you got like a $70, $60, $100 purchase and you want to break it up into some payments, we have that offered for you. Again, our goal is to make fashion accessible to everyone and to allow us to embrace the things that make us different. Yeah, that's from Big Corpse, the monster beast, straight to you. Yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day, amazing week, month, year, and life. Until next time, I'll see all of you on the flip side. Stay motivated out there, all right? Bang, ba-bang, bang, bang.